Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Denise and today in this video I'm going to be showing you three really simple ideas on how to decorate a Barbie birthday party. So let's get to it. So this year my daughter decided on a Barbie birthday party and she is turning seven. Please stick around and you'll see a series of videos of Barbie decorations for birthday parties. So um, keep an eye on that. But before we get started to this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and let's get to it guys. So let us begin with our first DIY. I went to my phone, I searched Barbie wallpaper, I found this one here, and I opened up my Baser app and inserted that picture that I saved on my phone. After I did that, I went to Shapes, Basic, and found the upside down triangle. I clicked the check mark, then after that, I centered it, and I went back to my photos, and I did download a Barbie logo, and I clicked the little magic to remove the background. After I did that, then I just went to outline and outlined it all in a white i put it on the upper right corner of the upside down triangle and i saved it to my phone let's go and open the microsoft office and then i use the landscape um, layout for my page and i am doing an 8 by 10 and you see the exact amount after i did that then i went to go print it out so I did print out 20 pages of this 10 inch long triangle and I cut it and I'm using this pink scotch tape. It's a little bit less than half an inch. I believe I didn't check it prior to let you guys know. But I'm sure if you go to the store, you'll find uh, you'll, you'll find it like at Michael's. I went to Staples and I found it there because I was printing out these pages. So Staples is a little expensive on printing right now. So you might want to use uh, other alternatives to make this DIY much cheaper. And as you can see, the process is pretty self-explanatory. The only thing is that you're going to run out of space uh, on your table to do a long strip. So, I mean, for my purpose of the video, since you wouldn't be able to see everything um, on the camera. So I just did strips of four of these triangles each and I did five of them. So then after I did all that, uh, I'm just going to show you how I'm going to um, connect them all together, as you can see here. So let's begin with our second DIY. I Google searched Barbie face silhouette and I found this one. So I saved it onto my phone and I opened my Baser app to start making my stencil. So I start from scratch and I do the circle and then I input the picture that I saved to my phone and I'm gonna do a circle around it. So making sure that I center the face and make sure that it touches the circle around it because I'm gonna make the stencil and I decided to put a number seven. So onto printing it out, I opened up Microsoft Office and on landscape, I tried to put it um, as big as one page. So I centered it and it looks like this. Now I'm gonna print it out. Now I'm going to cut and use my X-Acto knife to remove the white inner parts of the um, the page to make my stencil. Once I have all that all done, I went to the Dollar Tree and I got some pink gems. I got vinyl in magenta and purple and also in rose gold and I also had already um, a, a pink uh, ribbon. 
So after I do that, I grab my stencil and I trace. Now I'm going to cut with my uh, scissors and my X-Acto knife. It's a tedious process, so if you would like to look at a movie while doing this, it will take some time. Now I have my poster board in white so it can stand out and I'm carefully removing the sticker and placing it into the poster board and I'm putting some gems around it and making my pink ribbon and then I'm going to hot glue it onto her ponytail just like that and I made several ones so you can see the different colors and now I'm going to be making the swirls so it can be hanging onto the canopy when it's uh, birthday time so I'm gonna have my uh, cookie uh, lid and I'm gonna make perfect circles I was going to try to make exact um, size for the swirls um, but I'm just gonna wing it and I just cut in the inner parts then more and then more as you can see here it's pretty self-explanatory and pretty easy to make so you can literally grab different kinds of construction paper and do this so this glitter paper I didn't think that it was um, a sticker so I didn't know it was white on the back so anyways um, if you have construction paper you can use that in state instead of um, this glitter paper that I got from the Dollar Tree and that is it guys So now let's get started on our last DIY and it's going to be the center pieces. We're going to open the Bayzard app and I already had this background saved. I'm going to use a picture of my daughter in Valentine's Day and I'm just going to remove the background. If the background doesn't remove completely with the magic button then you must, then you must use the refine um, cut. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to open up shapes and pick the purple heart. I'm going to make that purple heart white and I'm also going to place my daughter a little bit um, closer so she looks um, bigger and I'm going to put the text happy 7th birthday. I'm going to curve it and outline it in pink. Now I'm going to put also her name on the side of the heart and that will be it. I'm going to be going to Microsoft Office to place it on a single page and print it out. So I went on to UPS because it's much cheaper and I printed out 24 copies for uh, 12 center pieces. And I'm um, now going to just cut it out and I'm going to use my glue stick and glue them one on each side because I'm going to put them on the tables. Uh, where people are going to be and um, so since this centerpiece is a little flimsy and can be um, taken down by the wind I decided to use this wooden plank that I had for my son's birthday party and I've been using it now I went outside and checked it out to see if it was windproof and sure enough you can use any kind of um, weight to uh, put it underneath the centerpiece and now I decided to use the tiaras, uh, the paper tiaras that I found from the Dollar Tree and I glued it on top of the heart. Now as you can see, I um, only did dabs of glue on the very tips of the crowns to stick them together and then I put the glue stick onto the bottom one to stick it onto the heart and this is how it came out. Thank you. 